Some stunning video tonight out of Argentina. A lightning bolt hits an airport, creating this amazing shot. You see the lightning crackling in every direction there. Eric Fisher joins us now. And Eric, yes, we know some wet weather is moving in, but nothing like this. No lightning tomorrow. No lightning. I've been to that airport and actually looked just like that when I was there. As a matter of fact, huge thunderstorm, and they are approaching summertime while we approach wintertime. And it's going to be feeling like winter this week. Tomorrow, some localized street flooding, the main issue. Toward Cape Cod and the islands, we may see a few damaging gusts especially on Nantucket and some minor river flooding expected with this one. The latest in a series of storms, each one has been creeping just a little bit colder. This one will bring some more snow to northern New England. The ski areas are doing their happy dance early in the season this year. Rain just starting to work its way in. Temperatures have warmed up. The overnight lows were actually a couple hours ago, and they'll continue to rise a little bit overnight tonight. So the rain taking over the region. It'll be here throughout the morning commute. Steady rainfall, generally moderate with some heavier pockets. It'll be here throughout the entire Higher morning, just pouring mid morning to midday. And then we'll see that rain quickly move out to the east as we head into the late afternoon. So we'll see some drying from west to east, maybe a little bit of late day sunshine, but I'm expecting mainly overcast skies. Dreary day, extra cup of coffee or tea kind of day. One to two inches of total rainfall is expected. Some more minor river flooding. These are some of the problem spots. I'm not expecting anything more than minor flooding, but certainly some fast moving water. We've seen more than our share, fair share of rainfall this fall. We take a look at Fall in general, September 1st through the end of November, these are the standings. We're already at the six wettest on record at Blue Hill Observatory, which is in Milton. And the number one spot is only a few inches away. We may challenge that by the end of this week. I would expect we'll at least be at the third wettest after tomorrow. In terms of our highs, 50 in Boston, 40s north and west, just getting out of the 30s for some towns. It will be a cold rain across the interior, a little warmer across southeastern Massachusetts. That's where you'll have some gustier wind. The chance for some gusts over 40 may on Cape Cod and the islands. We may see a couple gusts over 50 on Nantucket. Then the wind will turn west northwest. It will be gusty all night long and into the day on Wednesday, and it's going to deliver a shot of midwinter air. Our dew points will be in the uh, teens and single digits. Our wind chill value is falling back into the teens by Wednesday morning. So, chapstick weather, it's going to basically be our coldest air of the season and a feel of January outside. No ways about it. This is a cold air mass near record levels, but likely not quite all the way there. Then high pressure will settle in as we make our way into Thursday. With high pressure overhead, many of us start the day in the teens on Thursday morning. The day itself is dry, but that cold air mass in place ahead of the next storm system, kind of each one of these stepping a little bit colder and colder, I think there's a pretty good chance for at least some widespread snow initially as we head into Thursday night. Biggest question mark will be how will things evolve late on Thursday night and into Friday? We could see a mix of snow, sleet, and freezing rain across the interior. Meanwhile, changing over to all rain near the coastline. So I think this is going to be an event that has some impact on the region, maybe even our first plowable snow for those inland areas. If you're in central western Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire, higher odds near the coast, I think a change over to rain will be more likely. So we'll be talking more about that one tomorrow night. Otherwise, it is just cold. 30s for highs on Wednesday and Thursday, and this weekend stuck in the 40s. So we went from uh, basically summer to early winter to now midwinter. <laughs> David and Lisa, back to you.